of your spirit. I thank you that they are young vessels, God, young vessels that you can move through, young vessels, God, that, that you have chosen and called. And I would like to ask you today, God, to cover them today, God. Let your angels have charge over their lives, God. And I pray today that you will begin to download into their spirit what they have need of, God. Oh, God, I thank you today, Father, that they are not too young to be saved. They are not too young to be filled with the Holy Ghost. They are not too young to be touched by the power of your spirit. So I pray today, God, that you touch them by the power of your spirit. Take off the barriers, the boundaries. Take off the limits today. I pray today that as they praise you, that they will experience your presence. Oh, God, smile upon their worship in this place. Smile upon their praise today. Oh, God, not Hallelujah, while they're singing, but also for those of us that have gathered today, we have come to get in your presence. We have come to hear your voice. We have come to be touched by your glory. We have come to be changed by you. We have come today to be empowered by you today. And we believe there is nothing that you cannot do. God, we want to get in your glory today. We want to be consumed by your power and presence today. We just want to see you as you are today. Oh God, everything that we've been praying for, we want to see it manifest in this room today. Everything that we desire from you today, we want to see it come to pass today. All we want is you. All we want is you, yes. All we want is you today, Father. God, we come to worship. Lord, we pray today that you would take habitation in our praise this morning. Take habitation, hallelujah, in every hallelujah in this room today. God, we set the stage for you to come in today. We open the doors for you to show us your power. The thing that makes you God. Let this not be just an ordinary church service. But we want an encounter with you, God. We want to experience you. Today, help us to lay aside differences. Help us, Father God, to lay down heavy weights that so easily beset us. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, if there is any offense in the heart, let us forgive and release the offense. Anything that was standing away from you moving in our midst this morning. Oh God, we give it up for you this morning. Oh yes, we need Jesus. Jesus. Oh God. Have your way, God. There is no church service without your glory. Come on. So we invite you in. We welcome your presence in. We welcome your presence in this place. Yes, God. To do within us what you see needs to be done. Oh yes. Oh yes. We open our hearts before you this morning and say, fix us today. Fix the places that are broken. Fix the places that need mending. In the name of Jesus. Come on. For no one can do what we do. Nobody. Oh God. <laughs> fix whatever we've messed up. Correct whatever we have wronged. Hallelujah. Make right. Yes. Whatever we have made of this disaster of. Come on, Jesus. We just want you in this place. Yes. God, we just want yes. you. In this place. Yes, yes. God, we just want you to feel the atmosphere. God, we just want you to show your face in this room. But without you, we realize we can do nothing. nothing. Bless now these your people. Yes, God. Bless now these your people. Yes. Show them your glory. Yes, yes. Saturate them. Yes, Lord. My God. Have your way, God. Touch them in the deep places. Yes, Lord. Bless them to be purified. In a world that is so unclean, so impure. We thank you for this moment that you've orchestrated. Thank you, Jesus. For these young people to stand and to glorify you. Bless these the musicians who play yes, the Lord. Of your yes, Lord. It's all for you, Lord. Yes, it is. We understand that the time is short. Yes, time is winding up. Yes, God, we want to be ready. Yes, God. We just want to be ready. We just want to be ready. Yes, God. Woo. Yes, God. Every day that we praise you, we just yes. get closer to that Lord. great glorious day where all things come to pass and are fulfilled. Yes, Lord. God. As we stand in your courts, God. So even now, this is just a rehearsal of what right. is to come. But let us pray like it's our last day. Yes, let us Lord. worship you like it's the last time. Let us serve you like we don't have tomorrow. Come on. Let us worship and honor and obey. Like this is it. This is the last moment. Let our hearts and affection be upon you, O God. Yes, God. As we 
and worship and bless your name in this place. We thank you. Be pleased with what you hear and see in this house. God. Please God. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.
Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Yes.
found in our Genesis 26, verse 22, and Psalms 92, verse 12 through 15. And we believe that it shall be fulfilled in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
when she saw that the water was so agitated, she finally made a decision to come out of the water to where he was. Yeah. And she picked him up and brought him to the place yes. the depths that she was standing yeah. in. Yeah. And she sat him down and he still would come down. But the other young boy was dancing around his mother and celebrating and happy. And the other boy was frustrated the whole time in uh. and took off and left the water and ran back to the shoreline. I said, I see God what you're saying. My Lord. Because some of us, we're like the young boy. Yeah. <laughs> who can just enjoy himself yeah. in the presence yeah. of God and yeah. not be moved yeah. by the wings and the waves. Yes, as long as he has the presence That's of it. God, That's he's it. Fine. That's but it. Then, hallelujah, there's others. Yes, come on, Pastor. Who are like the other boy who wants to be out there. And even when God takes you and brings you and holds you in his arms and sets you down, you still get agitated because of the moment. The Lord allowed me to see that this is two different types of people. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Jesus. The boy only felt comfortable when the mother came out of the water. Right. While the other child clung to his mother's side and enjoyed the presence and even allowed the mother to pick him up and spin him around. And I'm wondering right now how many people will enjoy God in the process. Yes. Will you depend on God? That's it, that's it. Will you depend on God? Moment. It doesn't matter if the winds and the waves are blowing. It doesn't matter as long as the presence of God yes. is in the midst of it with you. You're good. Yes, that's it. That's it. Be in the midst, of God. As the word of God, young lady, brings the word of the Lord. I'm praying today, Father, let your anointing and your presence reign and rest oh, yes. upon us. In this moment, let your glory be poured out upon us. As she ministers to our young people, God, as she ministers to people, yes. as she ministers to men and women, I ask you today to flow through her life. Yes, Lord Jesus. Use her tongue, God. Oh, your glory. Let her be completely out of self. Yes, Lord. Holy yes, Spirit, reign, I ask you. Yes. Reign in her body. Yes, Lord. Take over her spirit. Yes, Lord. yes, yes. And speak your words of life. In the name Jesus. of Jesus. There are too many people that are needing you today, Father. There are too many people that are needing to hear a word from you today, Father. For flesh. So today, Father, she's crucified in your presence. Speak as only we can speak. And we will hear and listen and take heed to what you are releasing in this moment. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us receive the word of the Lord and the word of God as she comes down. Amen. 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 Proverbs 3. Yes, God. Verse 5. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, yes, and lean not on your own understanding. Yes. In all your ways, 
Submit to him. Yes. And he will make your path straight. Mm -hmm. Yes, God. Yes, Do God. not be wise in your own eyes. Yes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. My God. This will bring great wealth, or I'm sorry, health to your body. My God. And nourishment to your bones. Yes. Amen. 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 The title of today's message is You Need a Dependent. Mm. Help today, Lord. You need a dependent. But mm. what is a dependent? You dependent, what does that word mean? Requiring someone or something for financial, emotional, or other support. Mm. A dependent is someone who is requiring someone or something for financial, emotional, or other support. So youth, you depend on youth. Mm. Your parents, you might say your parents. You might say your friends. You may say, Grandma, Grandma, mm -hmm. you look to those people for help, mm -hmm. right? right? Mm -hmm. When you don't know what to do or where to go, what's the first thing you do, especially me with my mom? <laughs> mom, da 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 I'm dependent on her. Right. Come on. Right. Right. For a lot of things. Sometimes it's a little gas money. Sometimes it needs to be a just simple advice. But my question to you, youth, come on, what's your dependent? What do you look to for advice every day? Come on. <laughs> There's the opposite of dependent, which is independent. Mm. My God. The definition of independent is free from control. Oh, that sound nice. <laughs> Not depending on another. Yes. Self-support. That's right. I got it all yeah, together. I know what I'm doing. I don't need to talk to anybody. Mm -hmm. I know. So let's say. My Lord. <laughs> self-support. Yes, it is. Mm. Come on. It's good. That's dangerous. Mm -hmm. You I want to do a little demonstration. I'm going to have Eli come up for me. In Proverbs 5, sorry, Proverbs 3, verses 5, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Okay? So, Eli, come on over here. I just want to show you guys what it looks like when we depend on ourselves instead of depending on God. Okay? So, you know your way around this church, right? You can do a lap around. All right. So he's going to, he's got his own intelligence. He's going to walk around, right? He's going to make a little lap. He knows the chairs. He sees all the little things, right? He knows to go around so he doesn't bump into people, right? He's got his own little intelligence, right? Right, 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 right. right. Oh, come on now. Very good. <laughs> now, I'm going to blindfold him. Oh, boy, my. Because in the things of God, come on, me. it says bring not to your own understanding, correct? Right. 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 So God's got a totally different way of doing things, right? Right. So you have to just trust and believe that you, that God has you under control, correct? Come on. Oh my God. Now I'm going to ask you, like, do you want to walk around the church? Do you want to lead to your own understanding? Uh-oh.
pop up every time. Every time. Because you don't know. He says, you're not to your own understanding. But then I want to, thank you, Eli. But then he goes on to say, submit. It says, in all your ways, submit to me. What does submit mean? That means you're giving God everything, all your issues, all your problems, everything to God. It says in all of your ways, not some of your ways, submit to him. We like to give God the things that, that are, you know, baby things. Come on, that's good. Yeah, that's good, that's good. When God says honor your mother and your father, that's one of the things that God wants you to do. So when mommy and daddy is telling you something, listen. We like to do, we like to give him some of our ways, some of the things yeah, yeah. that's dangerous. Right, some of them. Let's look at someone who was very independent in the Bible. Very independent. Let's go to Genesis 19. Genesis 19. Flee to the mountains 
or you will be swept away. But Lot said to them, No, my Lord, please, your servant has found favor in your eyes, and you will show you have you have shown great kindness to me in sparing my life. But I can't flee to the mountains. This disaster will overtake me and I'll die. Mm, Look, here is a town near enough to run to, and it is small. Let me flee to it. It is very small, isn't it? Then my life will be spared. He said to him, very well, I will grant this request too. I will not overthrow you from the town you speak of, but flee there quickly because I cannot do anything until you reach it. So they're trying to work together here. <laughs> then it says, by the time Lot reached Zora, which was the, the, the place where they were going to go for safety, the sun had risen over the land. Then the Lord rained down burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah. For the Lord out of the heavens, thus he overthrew the, those cities and the entire plains, destroying all those living in the city, and also the vegetation in the land. But Lot's wife looked back and became a pillar of salt. Uh -huh. So there's a lot going on here. You yes, like, what? Yes, yes. So God is basically telling Lot again. God sends two angels, or two men, to tell Lot to get out of the city. The first thing I want to point out is Lot kind of hesitates. He's like, wait, this is my city. Why are you telling me to get out of here? The angels are saying, there is sulfur that is getting ready to come down. I need you to get out. He says, okay. So the angels take his hand, and they get out of there. But he gave them one instruction that God had told them. Do not look back. Right. <laughs> when I bring you out of this, mm. don't look back. Come on. That's it. That's good. That's it. <laughs> but I want to pinpoint verse 26. But Lot's wife looked back and became a pillar of salt. Wow. Do you take heed to God's instruction? To a pillar of salt. Come on. I think it's easy just to follow God's instruction, right? Right. Yeah. 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 She turned into a tower of salt. Jesus. She don't want to listen. I'm trying to figure out what she was even looking at. What's back there? Come on. If God is telling you to get out of there. short passage of scripture, but I do want to read it. 
A man by the name of Enoch. He was a great guy. To be dependent on God. What does it look like? Genesis 5.22, it says, After he became the father of thirst, thirst um, we're going to call him Mes, Mes, Men. Yeah. Call men. Yeah. Yeah. Enoch walked faithfully with God 30 years and uh -huh. had other sons and daughters. Yes. Altogether, Enoch lived a total of 365 years. Yes. Come on now. Enoch walked faithfully <laughs> with God. Uh, yeah. Come on, me. Yeah. Then he was no more because God take, had taken him away. Mm. Come on. Mm. Enoch walked faithfully with God. Simple God. So simple. Wow. He walked faithfully with God. Yeah. 300 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Then he had kids, and kids can drive us crazy. Guess what? He still walks faithfully with God. Wow, that's good. Until God decided to take him home. Right. He was dependent on God. I love what my dad mentioned one time when we were reading about, you know, not saying that he probably didn't go through some stuff. Right. <laughs> you, we battle with a lot oh. every day. I know there's probably things that you got home and you tell your parents. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We have wars going on. Yeah. On the inside of us every day. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. It's true. I myself. Mm -hmm. But you know, walk faithfully with God. Come on. So if he can do it, I know it's the best of it all. That we can do it. Yes. Let's turn to Judges 13. Judges 13. This is about the, the birth of um, Samson. It's an extensive reading. It says, again, the Israelites did evil in the eyes of God. So the Lord delivered them into the hands of the Philistines for 40 years. A certain man of Zorah named Mano, from the clan of the Knights, had a wife who, who was childless, unable to give birth. The angel of the Lord appeared to her and said, You are barren and childless, but you are going to become pregnant and give birth to a son. Now see to it that you drink no wine or other ferment 
for, for a minute, for a minute, drink, and that you do not eat anything unclean. You will become pregnant and have a son whose head is never to be touched by a razor, because the boy is to be a Nazarite, dedicated to God from the womb. He will take the lead in delivering Israel from the hands of the Philistines. Verse 6, it says, Then the woman went to her husband and told him, A man of God came to me. He looked like an angel of God. So he looked like, I don't really know, but he just looked like an angel of God. Very awesome. I didn't ask him where he came from, and he didn't tell me his name. But he said to me, You will become pregnant and have a son. Now then, drink no wine or other fermented drink, and do not eat anything unclean, because the boy will be a Nazarite of God from the womb, from the womb until the day of his death. Then men I pray to the Lord, pardon your servant, Lord. I beg you to let the man of God you sent to us come again to teach us how to bring up the boy who is to be born. God heard Nano, and the angel of God came again to the woman while she was out in the field where her husband Nano was not with her. The woman hurried to tell her husband, he's here, the man who appeared to me the other day. Nano got up and followed his wife. When he, be when he came to the man, he said, are you the man who talks to my wife? I am, he said. So Nano asked him, when your words are fulfilled, what is to be the rule that governs the boy's life and work? The angel of the Lord answered, Your wife must do all that I have told her. She must not eat anything that comes from the grapevine, nor drink any wine or any other permitted drink, nor eat anything unclean. She must do everything I have commanded her. All right, let's get down to verse 17. This says, Then Nano inquired of an angel of the Lord, what is your name, so that we may honor when you, we may honor you when your word comes true? He replied, "Why do you ask my name? It is beyond understanding." Let's let's get down to verse twenty-four. It says, "The woman gave birth to a boy and named him Samson. He grew, and the Lord blessed him." All right, so there's a lot going on here again in this story. There was a guy by the name of Mano and his wife. And the wife went out and an angel of the Lord came to the wife and basically said, you're going to have a child. Come on. You're going to have a child. Of course she went, oh, what? So she runs back to her husband. She says, I heard somebody. Somebody said that I'm going to have a child. The husband's like, oh. <laughs> let me go to God about this. So the, the husband, he gets on his face and he prays to God because he needed that confirmation. Yeah. Yeah. We don't do that. Right. Good. We were on with the first thing we hear. Right. Come on, baby. Good. <laughs> and that's why we're all over the place, you. Yeah, that's, that's why we're not consistent with God. That's, that's why it's all over the place. We don't know. Wow. That's good. We see something on TV, that's it. Yeah. Somebody says something, oh, that's it. Yes. But I love how the man yeah. was able to God confirm this for me first. Yes. Yes. Wow. We need to do more of that. Yes. Good. And then we see at the end they had a child. Yeah. But I love that constant communication with God yeah. yes. on certain things. Yes. 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 Lastly, let's close with John 14. They were so dependent on God yeah. Yeah. to give them yeah. the answers that they needed. Mm. And then how to even raise the child. Awesome. Awesome. I want to close with John 14. Because you 
Well, you don't walk with God every day. And if all of your decisions <laughs> haven't been God's way, or if they're other people's ways, if they are other people's ways. Yeah. John 14. This was during the time when Jesus and the disciples were talking to each other. Just getting some clarification on where Jesus was going. The disciples were like, well, we need you here. Where are you going? And Jesus basically tells them, I have to prepare this place for y'all. Come on. Mm -hmm. I have to prepare this place for y'all. But while y'all leave on earth, I need y'all to do my work. Right. I need y'all to walk in my way. <laughs> Teach me. Come on now. Good. This is God by the name of Thomas. We're going to read it in John 14. Let's start at verse 5. It says, Thomas said to him, Lord, do we know where you are going? So how can we know the way? Huh. Jesus answered, I am the way. Yes, I am. And the truth. Yes, indeed. And the life. No one comes to the Father no except one. through me. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 Come on. Good right there. End of the story. Yes. Yeah. So if you're not sure mm. about this thing called life, yeah. come on now. Come on, baby. That's good. You better be depending on Jesus. <laughs> Lord God, we just repent for that. 
Lord God. Forgive us for falling short of your glory, God. We make a commitment with you on today, Lord God. We will submit to your will and your way, Lord God. We will be open to receive the word, Lord God. Open our hearts, Lord God, to give you all, Lord God. We want to give you all. Cover us, Lord God. This world is evil, Lord God. Keep us on the right path. Keep us, God. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my heavenly Father, for that wonderful word that brought my throne today. Being, being dependent, not independent. Amen. Amen. Now we come to that part of our service where we, where we worship in our giving. And for those of you online, God has set your heart and you are led to, to give to this ministry the ways to give. Are located on top of the Facebook page. And remember, all contributions and offers are greatly appreciated. Amen. 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 And if you need an envelope, please raise your hand. Yes. My God, my God, my God. What a wonderful word. Amen. Yes. As we prepare to give our offerings, reflect back on this word. And the word, she said, believe not on your own understanding. Lean on, lean not on your own understanding. And what a perfect, perfect analogy she used for the little kid, the little <laughs> Eli with the blindfold. Yeah. Wow. And no God. And no God. And no God. Eli almost stood on the stage. Right. <laughs> but sometimes we get ready to fall. Yeah. But God grabs us. Yeah. 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 And correct. That's what we need. That's what we need. That's what we need. And then all you can do is just say, peace be still. Let me wait until I hear the voice of God. My God. My God. Thank you for that wonderful word. Thank you. Thank you. Now that we all had a chance to prepare for our giving, when we all stand in that house of the Lord. Father God, we come to you, Lord God, and just thank you for the word, Lord God. Hope that it pierce our hearts, Lord God, and that seed to bear deep within, Lord God. Let that seed come forth, Lord God, and manifest. We take it, Lord God, and we run with it, Lord God. And Lord God, we dare not take this word in vain, Lord God. Lord God, we want to work with this word, Lord God. Use it on a daily basis, Lord God. Because we don't want to lean on our own thoughts and our own understanding, but every word that comes out of our mouth, we give Lord God, Lord God. So Lord God, order our steps, Lord God, in a special way, Lord God. Keep us focused on the goal, Lord God. Lord God, and the goal is that day to be with you, Lord God. And Lord God, we just ask, Lord God, that you bless this morning, Lord God, Lord God, that you bless her. Bless us spiritually, Lord God. Lord God, and we just thank you, Lord God, as we lift our hands, as we lift up these offerings unto you, Lord God. Lord God, let it be a blessing to this ministry, Lord God, and be used according to your purpose, Lord God. And Lord God, bless those who want to be able to do not, Lord God. Open up a financial blessing to them, Lord God. And Lord God, I ask, Lord God, as we leave this place, but never from your presence, Lord God, I ask that you keep a hand of protection. Let your spirit walk with us. Throughout the day and forevermore. This is the prayer from the day in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. You are all dismissed in the presence of the Lord. We'll see you.